drank my apple juice. What's up, what's up, what's up, my beautiful, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel, Plants, Locks, and Books. Y'all already know what I'm saying. Make sure y'all like, comment, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. That way you're notified each and every single time your girl posts a video. Boom. I already recorded this intro while I was actually out at the store, but it was giving ghetto. So <laughs> I wanted to do it over again. I hope you guys are having an amazing and amazing day. Today, I decided that I wanted to go and take my little butt to Home Depot and buy a plant that basically looked like it wasn't doing its greatest and bring it home and give it a new life. Make it a, give it a happier life. So that's what I wanted to do. I went to the Home Depot closest to my job and honestly, all their plants look pretty good. They didn't have a big selection, but their plants look pretty good. They did have a few that looked at eh, eh. So I picked up one that I thought was looking pretty sad and pretty not doing okay. Also, all of their fiddle leaf figs were trash. I don't even know why, but all of them were like trash. And I know that's the point of this video, but a fiddle leaf fig is like, that's too big of a plant for me to be trying to bring home and take care of it and just have this big piece of trash sitting in my living room so yeah i didn't decide on that in the clip that y'all about to see why that little plant that was in the little glass bowl was 20 dollars and i'm like first of all the glass is only a dollar from the dollar store like why y'all charging me 20 dollars and i know y'all they charged me 20 dollars before that glass thing that it was sitting in but i'm like no if it was 10 if it was five dollars yes if it was ten dollars yes but I'm not paying $20 for that, so. And plus, that's not even what I went for, so I'm glad I didn't get it anyway. And I have a bunch of snake plants. Oh, they do have a small, um, what else do they have? What is this? I think I know what this is. This is a plant. I don't have a They also have this one, but that's not the point of the video. I need to buy a dying plant. Not one that's alive. I'm just trying to see. And I also have some palms over here. This one looks dead, but they're too big. I can't bring that in my car. Any other dead ones? Oh, look, isn't this stupid? They have. I don't even know how this is possible to have a pothos and the orchid in the same pot, but they have it. Oh no, I think it's just potted. It's two separate pots in one thing, if y'all can see that. Oh, look at these though. Oh man, look how pretty. These are really pretty too. They don't have too many options in here though. What you see is what they have. All these are succulents. I have no idea what these are. I never saw this before. Oh, it's an Easter lily? I never heard of that before. But they have a bunch of those. But they're not all that cute. Ooh. An uh, apple philodendron? Look at this. Isn't that cool? I kind of want this. How much is it? There's no price. There's no price. I'm supposed to be buying a plant that is dead. If they're like $10, I don't want it. If it's $5, I want it. If it's $10, I don't want it. It's a Leaf Joy H2O bowl. Look at those roots. Which one should I get? Oh, this isn't even the same thing. What is this? A Rosa. Oh, hell, hold on. I thought this is the same. So this is a Apple Philodendron and a Rosea Princess. I don't know what that is. I think I want this one though. But this one looks, oh, they have this fiddle leaf fig. I would never be able to bring this home. They don't have many options. I'm really scared of the leaf fix, so I don't want that. Yeah, I don't want that. Okay, so why 
why did I want to do this? Honestly, I just thought it would be something different. I wanted to give a, a plant that was on the verge of dying a chance at a healthier, more successful lifestyle. Yes, these are living things and they want to live their best life. So I decided that I wanted to take a plant that wasn't doing so well and bring it into my home so that way it can live its best life. So that's the whole point of this video. A little bit about the plant. So I went and purchased a Mammy Croton. Is it Mammy or Mommy? I like Mammy because that sounds more like Mammy. <laughs> I, I went ahead and I purchased me a Mammy Croton. And as you guys can see, it does not look as happy as it looks kind of sad. Honestly, I'm going to say that for the next part. Anyway, it does still have quite a lot of color and stuff going on. But we need to make this baby become more happier. Um, this plant is extremely dirty. Like the leaves on it, the foliage, foliage, whatever you want to call it they're very very dusty so this plant is going to need a nice wipe down and a very good water so about this plant this plant is native to malaysia indonesia australia and western pacific ocean islands i did not know that y'all i just wrote that down on the paper <laughs> i also have another croton don't laugh at it it's still it's still working on itself okay it's still filling itself back out but i also have this croton right here and honestly when i seen this i was like instantly attracted to i mean in love with this plant y'all should have saw it when i first first got it it was so full oh my gosh the colors was popping but i just had to go and fertilize it so i added another croton into my collection i honestly really really like these and what if i'm the one who just know how to take care of them so well and i'm like the croton whisperer like what sorry <laughs> But <laughs> these plants require bright indirect light. I believe if you give it more light, the colors will pop even more. These plants do prefer a moist soil, so that means consistently watering it and not letting it dry out completely like it already is. And because this plant is a tropical plant, this plant does like great humidity, so I will be sure to be giving this consistent humidity because since it just, I mean, since I just brought it home, I want it to have great humidity. I'm, I'm just going to try to take care of this plant, okay? Let me just stop talking so much. The first thing we are going to do is get rid of any dead leaves and I am going to put some gloves on and just look around through this plant as we go along to check for any pest or anything like that. So let's just go ahead and get started with the hands on stuff. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm going to get some of the logs. Where are my gloves? Oh, there they are. Okay, let's But since somebody stole them, I can't use no gloves. So we're just going to get rid of these dead leaves. I ain't even got to cut them. They're just coming off. Because we don't need these dead leaves sucking up all our energy. We need to save our good energy. So pull all them little dead babies out. I was going to make a very not funny joke. Oh, I'm so glad I thought about that. <laughs> That was so, was not funny. That was like very disrespectful. Okay, anyways, next. All right, as you can see, those dead leaves were just sitting in there. Um, look, they're just coming out, no problem. They said, take me out of this. Get me out. You know what's crazy? At work, I just was so tired and I just barely wanted to talk and then I get my ass home and I got all the energy in the world. Ain't that something? All right, so we got all the dead crunchy stuff out of the way. Next thing I'm gonna do is, I don't know yet. Let me throw this in the trash and get back with y'all. Oh, and also, one of my subscribers, matter of fact, I'm gonna tell y'all the name right now so I don't forget. Let me get it. Oh wait, I know how to do it, hold on. Hold on y'all, wait a minute. Wait a minute, can you hear me, baby? Oh my God, I don't want to pronounce that name wrong. Tameka, Tameka, Tameka Williams said that if I was to use grain sand on top of the soil, it would drain it more quickly. And so, and that way the, the fungus net can't lay their eggs and then only bottom water. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to try out that method. I did try using the pebbles, the rocks on top of the soil, but honestly that didn't work. But I'm going to try and see 
what this does. So before I even do that, I am going to take this to the sink and I'm going to just rinse off all these little leaves because they're looking real crusty and rusty and dusty and I don't like it. Check the soil. Yep, as I know, the soil is really, really dry. If I'm being totally honest, I feel like the only problem this plant has is that it's not being watered enough. On, on, other than that, I don't think that this plant has much of an issue. I could be wrong, but from what it looks like, I think the only problem is it being under watered. So we're gonna take this over to the kitchen and rinse off all of these leaves and I'm gonna spray it down with some neem oil. I'm sorry y'all, I was not recording this whole time. So let me just repeat what I said. Because I don't want to top water this plant and I want to rinse off the leaves, I'm going to kind of tilt it like this so I can rinse it. So let me just give y'all a quick demonstration. Just turn it like that so I can rinse it. It is already looking a lot better, honestly, with me rinsing the leaves off. But then after I go and do that, I am going to take this off. I'm just going to give it a nice spray down with some neem oil and I'm going to let that sit on there for about five minutes and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to completely rinse it off. Just so that way anything that may be there won't want to stay there. So just like that, I'm going to spray it down real good. I'm running out of neem oil, y'all. I'm going to have to get some more. All right. And now I'm literally going to set my timer for five minutes, and then I'll be back to rinse it off. So I'll see you guys in five minutes. Now that it has been five minutes, I'm going to just go ahead and rinse off that neem oil from the leaves. And again, I'm going to tilt the pot to the side because I try, I'm trying my best not to get that soil too wet at the top. So that should be fine. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take it back over where it was and bottom water it and then add the sand and we'll be all done. We're just gonna stick that baby in here and let her soak up. soil so I just have some regular sand here that I got from a local sub, uh, beauty I mean <laughs> I was about to say a local a local beauty supply girl no I didn't I got this from my local plant nurseries I'm just gonna go ahead and spread um, this on top of the soil but I'm just gonna take it lift oh my hair is in the way lift and spread that on top like so and I don't know if this will work. Like I said, I got this tip from one of my subscribers and they told me to try it. And it's like, what harm can try and do? Because I already tried the putting the pebbles on top, but that didn't work. And honestly, I'm not consistent with not bottom, I mean with not top water, and sometimes I'll bottom water, but if I'm trying to be fast or if I just don't want to wait, I'll go ahead and top water it. But I need to stop doing that and just start bottom watering my plants but bottom watering is very time consuming and it does take longer than me just being able to pour it on top okay so about like that and that's my hand all right and as y'all can see i put the soil i mean the sand in there all around the soil so hopefully this will help including me 
bottom water in it as well also that will hopefully that will work as well but this baby is already looking spectacular and all i did was water it get rid of the dying leaves and clean up the leaves and look at it so i honestly feel like it was just being underwater and that's not a hard problem to fix at all we have taken care of this mammy crow ant so now i'm going to sit her off to the side by herself get her away from all my other plants quarantine this baby and i'm going to turn on the humidifier as well for this baby before i go and end this video let me just say so i don't know about y'all but me i go ahead and i go into my little youtube studio and i look up all my analytics and i look at my views and i look up all that stuff right because that's the way to know how to improve what to do different blah 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 so i noticed that People weren't fully watching like my longer videos all the way through. They always stop at like the halfway mark. So I'm saying, so I said, okay, let me try doing some shorter videos. So even when I posted 10 minute videos, it's like y'all watch it up until seven, eight minutes. And it's just like, what y'all doing? <laughs> if you can watch seven minutes, why you can't watch 10 minutes? But on a serious note, if there is a problem, if there is a reason as to why y'all are not watching the whole in videos, I mean, if y'all, if there is a particular reason on why y'all are not watching the entire video, please let me know down below. But if it's just because you ain't got a long enough attention span, let me know that down below too. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you like, make sure you comment. Of course, turn on the notification bell. Why? That way you're notified each every single time your girl posts a video. With that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I will catch you guys in my next video.